When I first started using Emacs and I would have multiple windows open, I learned about the key binding Control XL, which is bound to other windows. So if I had multiple windows, I would just could do Control XL multiple times until I got to the window that I wanted. But then I found out about this package called WinMove. Now WinMove allows you to move in any window direction that you want, up, down, left, right, whichever way that you want. So that way you don't have to do Control XL multiple times. You can just directly go to the one that you need. And so I'll quickly demo it, look at the configuration options, and then look at the source code. Let me jump into the configuration file and let me create multiple windows. Let's just see here, over here, and over here. So now I have four windows now. Before I would just do Control XO and just jump from buffer, I mean from window to window until the one that I got. So as you can see, there's not exactly an order to them. So you can tell which uh, buffer or which window I'm currently in because it's highlighted as purple and all the other ones have a dark background. So whichever one has a purple background is the one that I'm currently active. So for example, I'm over here. So instead of going in the order, it just goes in whichever order it finds. Uh, I don't remember the order, but needless to say, as you can see, it is not in a certain pattern or anything. But if I have WinMove enabled, which I already do, and I have the default configuration or the default key bindings, I can just do shift left and it'll jump to the left, shift down, and just like that. Just keep on moving. Now, I don't use this directly, the shift key bindings. I have it mapped to a transient map, for example, right here. In the move section, that's what I have them mapped to. I have BIM, ki BIM key bindings, which map to win, move, left, right, and all those goodies. Now, let me close everything. That, let me show you the configuration. Uh, win, move, okay. Let me expand this, let me make it bigger. Okay, here we have. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just saying we're gonna use the win move package. I don't have to ensure it's installed because as always, this is a series on built-in packages. And then I have some custom, custom configurations. So these are the default values, but I will show you what they do because I think out of all the ones listed, those are the ones that are most interesting out of the box. And then on the configuration, I just say, hey, whenever this mode is configured, just enable the default key bindings with this, which is the shift uh, arrow keys. Now, I don't use them, like I said, but if you're interested, you can go ahead and use them. Now, let me do this as true. And let me and evaluate this. So what does this mean? It just means that if I'm over here on the right side and I press shift arrow, normally it would just say, hey, you can't go anymore else. But once I have the wraparound, it just goes around which is pretty handy. You may or may not like that. Personally, I do not like that. I want to know when I reach the end. And create window says, hey, if I'm at the end and there's nothing, for example, right here, if I do shift right, it'll say error, there's nothing to go. But since I have create window and I do shift right, it'll create a window on the right. Oh, I didn't evaluate it. <laughs> that's why. So that's what would normally happen, an error. But if I do it again, recreate a window. There you go. So this package is not too complex as you'll see. So let's jump into the source code to see some more configurations. Uh, when move up. So here we are at the WinMove source code file. I recommend reading the documentation as always because they have some insights. For example, right here in the commentary, it says, hey, what do you do in this scenario when it's split right here and the marker is over here with the asterisk? Should you go to A to B or whatnot? Well, to f know about that, you'll read the documentation. So. I'm not going to read it for you, <laughs> otherwise this would be a very boring video. But yeah, here are, let me display some of the, oops, some of the options, the customization options. So if we go over here, we have a total of nine custom options. Now I'm not going to go over them, mainly because I don't know all of them and I only know those two that I showed you, which was the wraparound and create windows, which are the first two that show up. So wraparound, create window right here. I don't know why it's not centering, but it is what it is. So we have a few more. Uh, let's see if I can center them. Yes. So there you go. So as always, read the uh, read the documentation to know more about them. Now another customization that I find interesting is the Win Move Allow All Windows. So I have some certain windows that I pop up via the display buffer that have the No Other Window parameter, and if this is set to true, 
you can make it so that it does jump to those windows. Otherwise, it will just pretend like they don't exist and it will do the same pattern as a X other window does, I believe. But yeah, either way, I'd say read the documentation and get up to speed. But this is a very short demo because after all, it, there's not a lot of complications with just a package that moves across windows. But yeah, feel free to use it itself or something else like I do, which is a Hydra, um, not a Hydra map. That's what I used to do. But now I use a transient map, as you can see. But yeah, hopefully this was educational. As always, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.